Hey guys and welcome back for another short flow. Today's session is a vinyasa flow style sequence. You won't need anything at all, just some space on the floor, a mat if you have one and whenever you're ready, come and join me at the front of the mat in Tadasana. So standing at the front of your mat in Tadasana with your feet hip distance apart, set yourself up. Inhale as you lift the toes, spread them, press the feet firmly into the ground as you exhale, tucking the tailbone under, sucking the navel back towards the spine and rolling those shoulders back and down. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, and then inhale as we lift our hands up, reaching up tall, extended Tadasana. Exhale as we hinge at the hips, coming down all the way into our Uttanasana forward fold. Take a nice deep breath in, find length in the spine, exhale, fold deeper. And then on the next inhale, we're going to step back with our left foot into a low lunge, dropping the back knee to the floor, rolling the shoulders back and down, eye gaze forwards, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, step back to down facing dog. As it's the first one of the day, spend some time there just pedaling out the feet opening up the hips, the hamstrings, the calves, the ankles, and also the feet, obviously. And if you want to, you can even take a few pulses through the shoulders too, and open up that chest and thoracic spine. And then when you're ready, we're going to take a nice deep breath in as we come forwards into a high plank for our vinyasa. So exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Always an option to do sphinx here if needed for the lower back. And as we exhale, we're going to tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Again, you can just spend some time pedaling the feet out, opening up those hamstrings, those calves, ankles, and hips. And again, if you want to pulse through the shoulders for a few beats too, you can. On the next inhale, you're going to step through with the left foot back into that low lunge, rolling the hips back and the shoulders back and down. Eye gaze forward to take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale. One more time. And as you exhale, step through to Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale as you come all the way up, extended Tadasana, reaching up tall. Exhale as we come back down into Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale as you find length, exhale to fold deeper. And then inhale as you step the right foot back this time into your low lunge, dropping the back knee, rolling the shoulders back and down, chest comes through the arms. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, step back to down facing dog. Take a nice deep breath in as you find length in the spine, point the tailbone towards the ceiling as you exhale, push those heels towards the floor. And on the next inhale, we're going to roll forwards back into that high plank. Option to drop the knees if you need to. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale as you press up to cobra. Take a nice deep breath all the way in, stretch out that front body. And as you exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Again, see if you can find length in the spine as you inhale, pointing that tailbone towards the ceiling, crown of the head towards the floor. And as you exhale, push those heels down toward the ground. Take a nice deep breath in as you step through with your right foot into that low lunge position, rolling the shoulders back and down, eye gaze forwards, open up that back hip flexor. And as you exhale, step through to Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, find length in the spine, exhale, fold deeper. And then inhale as you come all the way up, extended Tadasana, exhale, release the arms, shake it all off and you should be feeling a little bit more warm and ready for the main flow. So from here, we're going to take a nice deep breath in as we lift the hands up high, reaching up tall and extended Tadasana, take the eye gaze up to the fingertips and as you exhale, draw those fingertips along the ceiling and back behind you as you come into crescent pose. Lifting through the heart, take a nice deep breath in, exhale, and then inhale as you come all the way back up. Exhale as you swan dive back down into Uttanasana, forward fold. Hands go on top of feet as you inhale, slide them up your shins and find your flat back tabletop position, squeezing the shoulder blades together, straightening the legs and sending the hips back with a nice long neutral spine parallel to the floor. Exhale, fold deeper. 
pull out the hands, heel toe the feet out to the edges of the mat, find your squat stance, and then inhale as you come all the way up into extended Tadasana, palms together at the top, and as we exhale, we're gonna come down into our garland pose. Using your elbows against the insides, if your knees and thighs, to push the knees apart and pull the chest through the arms. Don't worry if your heels are lifted. Just think about keeping a nice upright torso, crown of the head towards the ceiling, tailbone towards the floor. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, release the hands to the floor and step back with the left, sorry, the right leg as you drop the knee to the floor and come into lizard lunge. Reach the heart forwards, send the left knee out towards the side, open up that hip. And if you want to, you can even come down onto your forearms. Take a nice deep breath in, keep the eye gaze forwards, keep reaching forwards with that heart. Don't be tempted to look at the ground. Exhale, and then inhale as you come back up onto your hands if you haven't already, and pull back into the hips, straightening that front leg, flexing the toes back towards you, stacking the hip above the knee, and reaching your nose towards your toes as you exhale, half splits. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. And then inhale as you come back forwards into that lunge position, lifting the back knee, back foot goes down, 45 degree angle. Coming into warrior two, inhale as you windmill the arms up and over, finding your warrior two position, pressing through the feet, squeezing the inner thighs, squeezing the glutes, keeping a nice upright torso, pull those shoulders back and down, eye gaze forwards over the front fingertips. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, release that back hand to the back thigh, inhale to lift and reach with that front hand up towards the ceiling and then exhale as you reach up and over into reverse warrior. Take a nice deep breath all the way in, exhale, and then inhale to windmill all the way back up and over, coming into side angle pose. So front arm goes to, or elbow goes to knee, or hand to floor, reaching up and over with the right hand, right over the head, eye gaze up to the top fingertips. Option here if you want to, to extend the leg and come into triangle pose also. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, release the hand, frame that front foot and come into your low lunge position. Roll the shoulders back and down, eye gaze forward. Feel that stretch in the hip flexor. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then on the next inhale, windmill the arms up and back. Right hand goes to right heel. Inhaling to lift and reach with the left hand. As we come up into half camel, exhale. As you find that back bend, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. And then inhale to come all the way up and over, coming back into that low lunge position as you inhale and then exhaling to step through to Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift or flat back tabletop. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale to come all the way up, extended Tadasana. Exhale, release the hands, tuck the right leg up as you move the weight over onto the left leg and bring the knee either into the chest or take your two fingers and hook them around your big toe. Extend the leg as you exhale. See if you can hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Release the leg, keep it tucked, see if you can keep it lifted as you take the hand back behind and grab the inside edge of the foot and come up into dancer's pose. So we're inhaling to lift the left hand up and kick back into the right hand into dancer's pose. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release. <laughs> come back down to the floor with grace if you can, and reset into Dasna, and we'll repeat the flow on the other side. So finding yourself back in that Tadasana position, inhale as you lift and lengthen, reaching up tall towards the ceiling, exhale as you take the eye gaze back and along the ceiling into crescent pose, keeping lifting through the chest, inhale to come all the way back up, exhale as you hinge at the hips, coming down into your Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, Exhale, fold deeper. Plant the hands, heel toe the feet out to the edges of the mat, find your squat stance. Inhale to come all the way up, extended to dasana, palms together at the top. Exhale as you come down into your uh, garland pose. Using your elbows against your inner thighs, keeping that chest nice and lifted. Try not to hunch into your garland pose. Try and keep that torso nice and upright. Take a nice deep breath in. 
Exhale, release the hands to the floor and take a big step back with your left foot into lizard lunge. Sending that right knee out towards the side, reach the heart forwards as you inhale or even come down as you exhale into forearm position with your lizard lunge. Take a nice deep breath in, keep looking forwards, keep reaching the heart forwards. Exhale. And then inhale to come all the way back up. Exhale as you pull back into half splits pose, straightening that front leg, reaching the nose towards the toes. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, fold deeper. And then inhale as you come forwards into your lunge position, lifting the back knee, back foot goes down for your warrior two at a 45 degree angle. And then get ready as you inhale to windmill the arms up and over, coming into warrior two on the other side. Squeezing your core, squeezing your glutes, pressing through those thighs, holding a nice strong warrior two position. Exhale, release that back hand to the back thigh. Inhale to lift and reach with the front hand up towards the ceiling. Exhale, find reverse warrior pose. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale as you windmill all the way up and over, either straight into side angle pose, elbow to knee or triangle pose, wherever you are most comfortable. Take a nice deep breath in as you take your eye gaze up to your front fingertip, top fingertips. Exhale, release the hand, frame the foot, front foot and come down into low lunge as you inhale. Take a nice deep breath in, reach the heart forwards. Exhale, and then as you inhale, lift, windmilling through the arms, taking the left hand back to the left heel and taking the right hand up towards the ceiling and reaching back into half camel. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, and then inhale as you lift and windmill all the way back up and over, resetting in that low lunge. And then exhaling as you step through into your Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, squeezing the shoulder blades back and down together, sending the hips back, straightening the legs. Exhale, fold deeper. And then inhale as you come all the way up, extended to dasana, and then get ready for your balance positions on the other side. So inhaling as you send the weight over to the right, tucking the left knee up towards the chest or hooking the two big fingers around the big toe. When you're ready, extend that leg out in front of you and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release the leg, see if you can keep it tucked and lifted as you take the hand back behind you and grab the inside edge of your left foot. Reach up high with your right hand and kick back into dancers as you inhale to lift. And hold for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release and reset in your Tadasana position. Inhale as you lift the hands all the way up, extended to dasana. Exhale as you come down into your Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale to find length. Exhale as you come down into your crouch curl and inhale to curl your nose to your knees. Exhale, push back up into Uttanasana forward fold. And we'll repeat that one more time. So inhale to crouch, tucking your nose to knees. Exhale to fold. And then inhale to crouch and come all the way down into seated. Taking the legs out long in front of you, we're gonna come into half Lord of the Fishes. So right leg is long, left sole of the foot comes over the right knee and plants on the floor on the opposite side. You're then going to take your right elbow and hook it around the left knee, bringing your chest in towards your thigh as you inhale and then exhale to look over the left shoulder. Take two deep breaths. Exhale. And then slowly unravel yourself and repeat on the other side. So left leg goes long. Right sole of the foot comes over and places outside of the left knee. Hooking the left arm around the right knee. We're going to inhale to lift and lengthen, bringing the chest in towards the thigh. And then exhale as you twist to look over the right shoulder. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then unravel yourself. 
Taking the feet straight out in front of you, flexing the toes, pulling the fleshy bit of your bum out from underneath your sit bones. We're going to inhale as we find length in our spine and then exhale to take a seated forward fold. Bringing the chest towards the thigh, nose towards the toes. Take a few deep breaths, inhaling to find length, exhaling to fold deeper. One last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then inhale to come all the way up. Sliding the bum towards the heels, come down onto your backs, taking your toes to the floor, keeping the heels lifted. Take the arms out in a T-shaped position, palms facing down. And we'll just finish off with a few window wipers to release the lower back. Taking the knees from side to side for maybe five or six rotations. And then slowly, whenever you're ready, just bring the knees in toward the chest, hug them with both arms, give them a little squeeze, rock your from side to side and massage your lower back. Take a few deep breaths and then whenever you're ready, just roll over onto the right side of your body and slowly make your way up to seated. Coming to a seated position, we're going to inhale for one last time as we lift our hands up above our head, palms together. And as we exhale, bringing the hands to the forehead, kind thoughts, to the lips, kind words, to the heart, kind feelings. Namaste.